Welcome to my channel Yanam Takshasila. In this video, I am going to solve a mathematical problem under differentiation. So the problem is differentiate the following with respect to x if y equal to x cube sin x tan x. Second one is y equal to x plus 6 by x minus 7. Our motive is to find dy by dx from first and second one. So for first one, it is a given y is x cube into sin x tan x. So it is a product of three functions. To get dy by dx from this, you have to use product rule of three functions to get dy by dx from first one. Now for second one, you can see this y equal to is a fraction mode. That means it is a u by v rule. That means what is that rule? That is you have to use quotient rule to get dy by dx for second one. Now we will solve first one. So solution. So first one is y equal to x cube sin x tan x. So as I told you this right hand side is a product of three functions. So you have to use product rule of three functions. So first we will write the formula of for product rule of three functions. So what is the formula that is d by dx of u, v, w. So three functions that is u, v, w are three functions of x. So you can write this as, we will keep first two functions as constant u, v, then differentiate third one. So d by dx of w plus then next one v, w, differentiate u that is du by dx. So next one we will put uh, uw and then we will differentiate v dv by dx. So now we will differentiate this y equal to x cube sin x tan x. So this is write this apply differentiation both sides. So d by dx of y is d by dx of x cube sin x tan x. So here we have to take u as x cube v as sin x w as tan x. So apply this. So dy by dx equal to, so first one is uv. uv means what? x cube into sin x. Then differentiate third one. So dy by dx of w is tan x. Plus, then next one vw. That means sin x into tan x. Then differentiate what do we going to differentiate? We were going to differentiate first one. d by dx of u. What is u here? u is x cube plus next one u w. What is u w? x cube into tan x. So x cube tan x. So d by dx of what is that? v. So what is v here? v is sin x. So d by dx. So next step we will find the differentiation of all the functions. So as you know d by dx of tan x is second square x d by dx of x cube, we have to apply the formula of d by dx of x power n, d by dx of x power n is n x power n minus 1, in this case n value is 3, so we get d by dx of x cube as 3 x square. Now here d by dx of sin x, d by dx of sin x is what? It is cos x. So we are going to write this, so x cube sin x into second square x, d by dx of tan x is second square x, plus sin x tan x, now d by dx of x cube is 3x square plus x cube tan x. Now d by dx of sin x is cos x. So this is how we will find the dy by dx for first one. Now we will go to the second one. So second one is y equal to x plus 6 by x minus 7. So to find dy by dx here as I told you before we have to apply quotient rule because it is a fraction mode u by v. Here u is x plus 6, v is x minus 7. So we write the formula of quotient rule first. So we know that d by dx of u by v equal to v into du by dx minus u dv by dx by v square. Now take u as x plus 6. So u is x plus 6 v s x minus 7. So d by dx of u by v that is left hand side apply for y also d by dx of y equal to d by dx of x plus 6 by x minus 7. Now v into d by dx. So v what is v here v is x minus 
7 into d by dx of what is u here x plus 6 minus what is u u is x plus 6 into d by dx of v v is x minus 7 by v square what is v square v is x minus 7 so this is whole square now this is equal to x minus 7 now d by dx of x plus 6 so we take d by dx inside d by dx of x is 1 plus d by dx of 6 as you know derivative of a constant is 0 because 6 is a constant so d by dx of 6 is 0 so we get d by dx of x is 1 d by dx of 6 is 0 minus x plus 6 now again same thing d by dx of x minus 7 so take d by dx inside so d by dx of x is 1 Again, d by dx of 7 is, since derivative of a constant is 0, so we will get 1 minus 0. So, here 1 minus 0 by x minus 7 whole square. So, we will get d by dx equal to x minus 7 into 1, 1 plus 0 is 1 minus x plus 6, 1 minus 0 is 1 by x minus 7 whole square. Now, multiply this 1 with this one, so we will get dy by dx equal to x minus 7 minus x plus 6 by x minus 7 whole square. Now, this minus, you can take this inside. So, you get x minus x. So, x minus x will cancel and minus 7 minus 6, you will get minus 7. So, finally, you will get dy by dx is dy by dx equal to minus 13 by x minus 7 whole square. So, this is how you have to find the divide by dx for this problem. So, if you want to do more problems of this kind, I have given the link that is in the description. You can click on the description. But like this video is useful to the polytechnic and engineering students. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and thanks for watching my video. Thank you.